All right. Can you guys see me now or what? Can you hear me? Anybody? That's the same stream. Anybody? Let me know. Let me know. Testing. Okay, you can hear me. I'm using the same microphone that I have on, had on my phone on the, inside the vehicle instead of setting all this stuff up. So anyways, this is uh, some footage from out there. You know, sometimes it doesn't, uh, you know, it gets a little jerky and whatnot. And if it breaks down, I'll be right back on. I've had this crash just playing the video. I was on Court TV today. I don't know, man. There's, there's so many people buying into this stuff. I looked at the, the, the um, what do you call it? The, they did a premiere of the episode that I was on. And these people are, you know, like in the chat. Gray changes his story with the wind. Man, if you guys know me, that's the exact opposite. All right? So when people say stuff like that, they're just delusional uh, people who want to try to sell a different narrative. It's wild. It's just so weird when you, when you watch this stuff. So anyways, I actually put the drone down below and had it fly right around. Yeah, so what do you think? I, I think I did pretty good on there. I just went, this is the most, I think it's the most childish document I've ever heard in my life. And I think most rational people think the same thing. It's, it's absolutely ludicrous, okay? <laughs> it's just, uh, you know, it sounds like some little childish friend, uh, like uh, somebody arguing with you or something. It, it's just, I think rational-minded people believe that. And you guys, guess what? This is just a regular show. So if you feel like you want to help support what I do here, uh, believe it or not, when this uh, this is my Mavic Mini here flying around. But if you'd like to help support the channel, uh, please consider helping with you know PayPal or whatever or the super chats. That's what allows us to keep doing these shows. And oops, my hold on a second. Ah, crap. Hold on. Well, it looks like my laptop got unplugged and was just about ready to go kaput. But gray! See, I think that shallow area is right there. That's the spot where they cross, except it was in the winter, so it's deeper. Yeah, so it's like right around in this area is where they cross. And so what I did was I flew my Mavic 2 Pro down there with a 360 degree camera on it. Yeah, yeah, I was on Court TV. They just, they called me today and I was like, okay, yeah. It was kind of complicated. I had to use my phone and just and Skype on my phone, and then I had to go to the store to buy like a an adapter. You know, because they you can't. Uh, let's see, you have to have headphones and a mic. I didn't have any of those things, so I wasn't planning on streaming like that. I was just going to use my microphone that I had. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool footage out there. Thanks, Bridget Bauman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so what you're not going to be able to see today is that I did a ton. This is what I did today. I, t I got, oh yeah, let me start to show up by saying this. So when I get, Robert Ives met, met me out there, or not, let's see, we met in at the courthouse. And he gives a tour of the courthouse, and I had a 360-degree camera around looking in the courthouse and the courtroom, and probably the room that there'll be the, the trial will be in. And it was, uh, you know, it's just one of those old-school spiraling courthouses, really cool looking in there. Then we drove out to the uh, Brit, you know, the, uh, let's see, the Freedom Bridge parking area that's across from Highway 
the old bridge 25 over there, right? When I get there, I go, oh, man, I want those people who are waiting for me. And Robert Ives goes, ah, I doubt it. And all of a sudden, they pulled out a camera. And they were just absolute wackos. Wacko trolls, everybody. I mean, I get there, and they knew that I was coming. I mean, how did they know that I was going to be there, right? So they just sat there and camped out, like, all day, just waiting and waiting for a chance. I mean, what a bunch of losers. Okay, that's all you can say. Yeah, yeah, I saw you over there, Zozo, in the comments. Those comments over there were ridiculous. Yeah, and guess what? Guess what it was about, you guys? Listen to this. Like, this lady's over there going, I can't believe what you said about the mother in the floor of fire cases, man. You were just, no. And she started flipping me off and stuff. And then, then we went all the way down there, spent like, you know, 45 minutes over, but come back and they're still waiting over there. And I, I just waved her off. I go, yeah, just forget it, okay? And she goes, in, flipping me off over and over again. Does any, I, I covered the floor of fire one or two times, maybe, over the years. And yes, at the time, I said something about, hey, thanks. Uh, Nimble Lotus, I said, you know, the, since the family members aren't, you know, coming forward to be interviewed, I thought, well, maybe there's some involvement there since they said it was a, uh, an arson. Okay, why wouldn't they want to be helping? All right, so, you know, that's it. I mean, but can you believe this shit? This is the second time. I actually believe the guy in, in Moscow, Idaho was tipped off because he's the one that released the surveillance footage to somebody on YouTube, okay? And then that person said, hey, that guy that was in, he's out there. Bunch of idiots. Now, that was pretty cool, this part right here. Where is that? Yeah, when it was like down below. Comment on the premiere over there on Court TV. There's just so many of these people. Oh, Gray Hughes puke sign. Gray is, a, you know, just blah, 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 blah. These are the people that want Richard Allen to be innocent. They want it to be some weird Odin cult crap. And guess what? It's not going to be true. All right? It's not going to be true. It was kind of interesting about what, because uh, I totally agree with Barbara McDonald on there. I 100% agree with her, her information. I think the branches were just placed, um, you know, they were put there, and there's no, you know, particular meaning to it, especially the way that they were actually laid out. Okay, not some, you know, <laughs> I just, and the 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 F on the tree. I mean, I wonder if that's really what she showed. Looked like just splotches. Could have been like arterial blood spatter. You know, it didn't even look like uh, there was any sort of an F at all, really. And it was, it's weird, though, because the F was something that some of the original people stated they saw. So it almost makes me think that somebody's not saying it quite right. Yeah, so anyways, that's a good shot right here of showing you this is all cement now, and there's a fence. Uh, well, you can't really, I'm drawing on the screen, but you can't see what I'm doing. All right, so that's me, uh, Robert Ives, and C uh, Chris way down there. And see how this looks now? It goes way out. I actually think that each one of these things are close to being where the platforms were. But actually, platform one was more over here. But I think this is where platform two is, and then three is just right over there a little bit. But when I was on the show, I mean, I just went, I think it's one of the most, you know, ridiculous. It just sounds like it was childish in the way it was written, that document. I think anybody with that was, anybody that read that and didn't get that same feeling, there's something wrong with you. Like, I mean, honest to God, it's like, a, uh, it's weird. It was weird almost. Some of it seemed like, almost like, uh, kind of psycho talk when they just kept bringing up. If you go read the document, I didn't read it for you guys, but no less than like 15 times in a row, they mentioned how long it took for Abby to die. And they just kept saying it over and over by bringing up another point. Well, while the guy waited for Abby to die slowly, he went over and put this here. 
Next point. While the guy waited for Abby to die slowly, he went over. I mean, are, are you kidding me? Like, what's your deal? You sound like a nut job. You know, if some of that stuff is true regarding the, uh, you know, the descriptions, and, you know, then there, there might be, there could be an issue out there. But one of the things that people don't say is, okay, well, you know, the description that the person I call Sue, the witness that saw Richard Allen standing on platform one, she said, she described him with cur brown curly hair and all this kind of stuff. But then at the same time, why doesn't the guy on the bridge look anything like him? I mean, the guy that's on the bridge doesn't look like that person. And that person's on the bridge. <laughs> I mean, that person looks like Richard Allen. Weird, isn't it? Mm -hmm. hey, let me get it. I'm going to get another one here. That was... Let's see this one. Is that going to work? Hey, this one must have started right after that. That's where Randy Gravitz, I remember, ran down there. Hey, welcome, Margie. I mean, I understand, like, if it's a show, you can't just sort of, like, wipe out somebody's theory. Uh, like, oh, my God, you know, you got to make everything open and everybody gets to talk about it. But I, I'm just not going to do it. Hey, Cali Gal 3, thank you so much. Boom. How's it? I actually miss it. <laughs> I miss you guys, like, the normal way we do the show, you know. It's like, uh, it's different when you're doing it the way I'm doing it. Yeah, except the muddy and bloody guy was never a significant person to me. It was always at the end where I go, oh yeah, the muddy and bloody guy. It's not really that big a deal. Because what you got to realize is that, uh, see this is the tree that people said that there was somebody standing behind you guys. Look at this. You think there was somebody standing right there on a cliff? <laughs> That's the crazy crap that was going on at the beginning. Anyways, they put this whole thing up there, see. <laughs> Look at my face. I'm making these stupid faces. Let me get the... Uh, let me go to this folder here. I'm not sure what was going on with the footage and how bright it was when I was on this one. It doesn't make any sense to me, but... There must have been something wrong with the camera. This is the better drone, too. Hey, thanks, Crystal, a.k.a. Beaver Gaming Sub Sub Crystal. Oh, this must be a huge image or something. Hold on, let me check something. Oh, there we go. Wow. That, geez. Holy crap. It's just much brighter for some reason. I got it up the... Uh, bright it was too bright on the settings but anyways that one's doing the same general trip the lighting was much better on the other one but. thank you crystal a k a beaver gaming sub sub crystal yeah What happened, Ladybug Toes? What did you type in? Excerpts from an amateur tell-all book. Yeah, exactly. See, I, I, this is what's going on in that document. I'll tell you right now. What's going on in the document is that there's a bunch of YouTubers out there that the, prosec the defense is using... And they all came in with these really great ideas. And I think they even wrote parts of it. The, the, the writing style in parts of it doesn't sound anything like these two attorneys. 
You know, it, it is beautiful there when you're watching the video, but it's it's creepy out there. You know, uh, you have the, the whole time you're there. There's like this ominous feeling. And even when you're walking, driving around and you think, oh, wow, this is pretty, this is pretty cool right here. It's kind of not, you know, it's like uh, just nothing. It sort of ruined the area forever, I think. I mean, not ruin, ruin, but like, it's just not really, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, but you know, when you're out there, you want to hear something, everybody? I knew exactly where I was the whole time. <laughs> like all the coverage we've been doing over the years with the footage and everything like that, I knew exactly where to go. Nothing was confusing. Nothing at all. All right. And so this, this part is pretty crazy over here. Everyone's like, you got to be there. You got to be. Yeah. I, I, I will say, you know, everything seems closer. It seems smaller, like a smaller area when you're there. It's really quick walk from the, you know, like 10 minute, eight minute walk from the uh, Freedom Bridge to the, the bridge, you know, and then you get out there. Everything's really close. Yeah, it is beautiful, but it doesn't it's not doesn't feel beautiful when you're there. When you're watching a video, it does look like that. But when you're there, it's just purely like, yeah, geez, some, something evil was here. But man, those those people that showed up to sort of verbally abuse me, uh, what an embarrassment! Uh, they just I don't, they <laughs> pick a case that I've talked about. Okay, the Flora case I barely talked about, and this one lady emailed me a long time ago. I guarantee it that person's related because she was like, "Gray man, did you take a method?" God, some of these people. You know, you know what's funny? Uh, Robert Ives said to them, "Hey, what, what's going on?" And then uh, they mentioned the mother in the Flora case. I, I don't even know her name really. And, uh, and he goes, well, what, what's wrong? And he goes, well, you're Gray Hughes. And they, he said, it, they said it to Robert Ives, you know, <laughs> and then I said, no, I'm Gray Hughes. Okay. Crazy. I mean, it's just, mm, 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 mm. that's actually Robert Ives. He got a, he gets sunburned pretty easily, so. He's way back here in the wood, the, the, the trail there. It's kind of an interesting shot because you can see how small a person gets way back there. And so when you have Libby's phone, and I think Richard Allen actually walked back there. And yes, it, I think it's Richard Allen, you guys. I really do. It's weird. Guess what? He, he actually admitted it. Isn't that strange? <laughs> Yeah, and that's platform three back there. That's actually the platform that, uh, I think it was, um, what do you call it? Uh, it was, it's the platform that Libby was on filming Abby backwards. Oh, and I also uh, hooked up with uh, Becky today at the ballpark and flew the drone around their 360, so you guys get to see the ballpark. And we found the two freak stones one of them says from gray chris and the freaks and the other one says from my my brother that passed away garrett hughes uh something i can't remember what it said else after that but see that those are the bricks that we bought out there and uh that park you know all these people all these clowns out there try to make it sound like uh you know the patties and everybody are trying to enrich themselves out there but that park must have cost a ton of money there's buildings uh you know like three or four different buildings three ballparks i think uh it's you know it costs a lot of money and they go out and mow it themselves and things like that now here actually you get to see it right here so this is this drone was flying a 360 degree camera on top of it Okay, so this is what the park, I mean, you don't think this, this, this park's going to be over a million dollars easily. I mean, it's. I 
Yeah, so on top of this drone is a 360 degree camera that you'll see later uh, at some point. I'll upload those videos. I know you couldn't see the bricks. What do you mean you couldn't see the bricks? I didn't show you the bricks. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I have them on a 360 degree camera at some point though. Wow, just wow. I just told you what it said. <laughs> uh, now the feed went dark. Well, I am in a hotel and you know, trying to use their streaming. No, it went dark, yeah, because I wasn't playing a video, yeah. If you could still hear my voice, it just there wasn't a video being played. So I'm just flying it around and pausing it because on 360 you just look around at stuff. You look at all, like a, I don't know what this is, a clubhouse or something. Or, uh, there are branches. What? Yeah, we know. Actually, that we've been talking about. Well, I guess the Abby and Libby Memorial Ballpark. Or Libby and Abby, I don't know what order it is. But was Ron Logan in the what? Jesus. Yeah, we've given the ballpark like three or four thousand dollars at minimum over the years. Yeah. Oh yeah, and Becky's right there, standing next to us when we're flying around. God, I hope you don't read them, Zozo. Because sometimes you tend to be like, "Wow, what about the like, ooh the, the the Odin thing?" You know, just it's a piece of crap, is what it is. All right, I can show you. I can send the link, but uh, you know, I, I guarantee I'll get frustrated. Yeah, the only part that's mildly interesting in there is they say the witnesses say something else. Okay? However, there's going to be a rebuttal, everybody. Going to be a rebuttal. That was awesome seeing her. I'm going to uh, see uh, Kelsey tomorrow, likely, and and Caleb, and then also uh, and then Becky again with Beth that's in here at some point, somewhere out there. Yeah. I mean, look at there's actually exercise stuff here for people. All these yellow things are different types of machines. And then over here, this uh, see this amphitheater in the background there? That's where all the bricks are. I think I actually fly over there. Maybe we can. Well, they're, no, they're basing it all on YouTubers. Yeah. There's other YouTubers that have talked about all these things, and they thought, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, so the bricks, uh, these bricks are the ones that people have names on them. They're right, ones we have are kind of over to the right. I used the 360 degree camera on it, so you can see people's names. I saw Hoosier the Bruiser. We bought the, uh, I and another YouTuber, I forgot the, what, I don't want to know what her real name was. It was. I haven't seen her in so long. What happened? Uh, we bought that one for him. Even though he didn't like me. <laughs> I don't see Randy in here. What do you mean you told Gray that Randy's... I never thought Randy was a bad person. <laughs> you guys are weird. Jesus. Randy, I told Gray you're a good person, man. Wow. Come on, you guys. People are adults. Yeah, anyways, that was that one. And then, yeah, see how that it got dark for a second? I think this is a, this is a, a continuation of that one.
Uh, and uh, yeah, we're not going to be going to Indianapolis now, which is better for uh, they changed where I'm going to be next. Yeah, isn't that? That's an awesome. Look at the cameras. So much better lighting now. I don't know what was wrong when it was at the bridge, though. I think there was a. I don't know. I don't know. I think the 360 degree camera on the top caused the problem. Well, thanks. Yep, Indianapolis has a lot of corn here too. Yeah, they're just going to say that the ejection marks are isn't a proven science, doesn't mean anything. Uh, but what you got to just base it on is Richard Allen told the conservation officer that he was there from 1.30 to 3.30. Then later, I think it actually makes him look more guilty. And then later, when uh, law enforcement on October 13, 2022, interviewed him, he suddenly is there at a different time. From 12 to 1.30, like leaving right before the time that he was said he was there before. And guess what, everybody? He's a liar because he, he admitted to being there right as the three girls were leaving. And they were at that bench at 1.26. And he got there at 1.30, he claimed, originally. And he, his car, a, a car similar to his, is seen driving by... The Hoosier Harvest Store at 129 uh, or, or something like that. 127 or 129, I can't remember. 127, I think. Then he drives by, parks, gets out. Probably 133, he passes those girls. And they see him, and he admits to seeing them. So he saw them when he was getting there, not when he was leaving, like all the clowns are saying now. <laughs> so there we are just sitting there talking Chris, me, Becky yeah they've done such a great job out there it's amazing all kinds of tournaments and... so anyways that's it that's it for that one And I think it's over here, down one of these roads, is also where the crime scene is. And I went down to the cemetery a couple of different times. I did a drive from Richard Allen's house uh, to his likely route to the abandoned CPS building. You know, what was interesting, what I found out was that it's only a four-minute drive from his house to the... Uh, a four-minute drive from his house to the CPS building. But he took a 10-minute route to get there because he came in from the east heading west. So why would he do that? He did that because it's a much more, it's not through town. It's out in the rural areas where there's no cameras. That's why he did it. No, Cindy. No. Not a chance that Richard Allen... Not a chance that Richard Allen came up with that stuff. It's what what the people who came up with it were the crazy YouTubers. Those ninety-two points are stupid. Every one of them. It's like, well, point ninety-two. While somebody was dying slowly, he would have had to grab a pencil. Okay, yay! While somebody was dying slowly, he would have then had to what? It doesn't even make any sense. Just shows he didn't act alone. Yeah, well, so what they're saying is, uh, like, Vinny even said something like that. Like, wow, you know, they're saying he didn't act alone. And then they said, well, they don't even say that he was there at all, though. <laughs> you know, and I was trying to, what they're trying to do, thread a needle there. What you might ask yourself is, why would Odin 
the Odin organization, whatever the hell, the Odin Knights, why would they want to kill Richard Allen when Richard Allen is, wow, the scapegoat, right? I mean, holy shit, the guy, they're going after him and he had nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, that's crazy. Let's see. So, you know, on this trip, we're a little little behind on because at the beginning of this month, we're going to be, you know, trying to send in the same funds that we normally do, and also the channel make has an income on it, right? So I can do stuff like this or whatever the hell I want to do. Really, it's my business, but I donate over 50% of the net revenue to various true crime related charities, including this ballpark at some points. Maybe we'll send in another 500 to the ballpark at the end of this month too, but we're definitely sending more into our DNA fund because we have 13 cases that we have uh, funded so far of identifying Gene and John Doe's. Uh, fully funded, not like, oh, we're helping out, something like that. You know, we literally fund the entire thing. Uh, that you're afraid they will convince one weak-minded juror. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, uh, I was talking to somebody on Facebook. They, they think that see, a lot of people are really religious out in that area. So they might respond like, oh my God, that's creepy, scary. So it's not Richard Allen. It's some weird Odinite people. Is this trial having cameras? Do we know? Well, I hope so. Hope they have that. Hasn't Alan already? Conf yeah, that's that's what uh, I mean. There, there's a lot of stuff that's left out of that document. Yeah, the three girls is huge, right? The. Uh, yeah, Three Girls is huge, and also he admits it at some point. The bullet casing thing doesn't really mean much to me. I, 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 the bullet shell, it's not really, it, it places him right there at the crime scene, but he's also the one that, that abducted them, right? Yeah. And so you got to also know that there's going, there are going to have a rebuttal for this, for sure. No doubt about it. Hold on a second. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I was supposed to be going to Indianapolis, but uh, not going there now. Thanks, Ashley Hansen. Come on, freaks, help support the Gray Hughes Investigates YouTube channel. How's this mic working, by the way? I mean, this is good for on the road, I think. It's pretty cool that you just, it has like a, the, the, I don't know, the sender, whatever you want to call it, the transmitter is just plugged into a USB-C port in the back and then using Bluetooth it just automatically connects to a lapel mic and you're just talking. It's pretty weird, isn't it? Well, it should be a huge video. That's what uh, it is, right? Let me go back to the Mavic Mini and maybe I'll show you some of the GoPro footage, uh, driving around and so forth. If you guys don't mind, I mean, it might be kind of interesting. I have it on my dashboard, dash camera. Let's see. I'm so happy you got the Delphi. Yeah, well, uh, I drove probably... 
1,800 of the 2,200 miles. Okay, that's pretty. A lot of driving. Mm -hmm. Why? Why would the Odin's Odinites want to hurt Richard Allen? Because he was taking credit for their dirty work. Is that what it is? Wow, they they should be like giving him extra food and meals in prison because he's going down for what they did, right? Is that, I mean, does that make any sense to anybody? Hey, thanks, Tamara. Yep, definitely could use that. Gas fund has been huge on this one. Yeah, let me, uh, let me try to find the, uh, let me get that GoPro camera. Hey, thanks, Amy Higg. Just checking, checking in and saying hi, family. This document sounded like a high school term paper or something crazy ridiculous. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, I 100% agree with that. I think it's one of the most ludicrous things I've ever seen in a sort of professional environment. Here, we, we can go over some of it again if you want. Thank you, freaks, for helping support the channel. I think it's kind of cool is I can walk like 40 feet away now and it sounds the same. I could even flush the toilet and it sounds the same and everything. Yeah, you're not going to see it on the screen. Thanks. I mean, at least you can hear it though. It's pretty cool. Stay safe out there. Where is it? Where's the stream? Oh wait, no, it was it was off. So somehow it still got the audio, but maybe Love the Sun 100 will show up with something. The actual image. Let's see. Let's see if it works. Thank you. Keep on doing what you're you've been doing. Well, thank you. But man, every time I go somewhere. <laughs> These idiots. There you go. There you go. Is, so hold on a second. Let me go get the... Oh. <laughs> it's funny. I've got these headsets on. But the audio is coming out of the computer. I, I didn't even need them. There you go. All right. So hold on, I'm trying to get the uh, I got to get the SD card out of this. Although I think, I don't know, do I have this set up where, yeah, I might just have to use the SD card because it, I don't have the GoPro app on my, my laptop for some reason. <laughs> Can't think of everything. Yeah, oops. There we go. Hold on, hold on. What the hell's going on? Yep, I'm trying to. I gotta put something back in a in my the SD card back in my 
Mavic 2 or I'll forget about it. Ah, there we go. Put the water in there. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. There we go. Back over to this. <clears throat> All right. So I think I got it in there. Let me see how many videos I have. I'm going to have to transfer them over. Eating celery? what I do? Oh, because I crunch like that? Yeah. Jeez. Thanks a lot, Eugenie. Thanks, Lisa. Well, it's because it was right on my neck. Jeez, so mean. So mean! I should, if I had a jail, I'd put Eugenie in right now. How do you like that? Wow. Uh, thank you, Lisa L. It's a DSCIM GoPro. Okay. We get a bunch of these three, four. Not that one, I don't need that one. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't need those. Those are driving around. Copy. And documents. Hold on, I'm just putting these in there. Didn't have time to do this. All right, well, it's copying the files over now. Thanks, Tamster. Finally saw you on Core TV. Great job. Thanks for sharing. I mean, how did you guys think I did on Core TV? <clears throat> Seriously. I mean, you can tell me, you know. Sometimes I'm a little slow getting the words out or whatever, but I feel like I was accurate, you know. And I think I say stuff that other people don't want to say or won't say. You know, I'm not going to sit around and go, oh, it's so interesting, this Odin thing, man. Wow, it's so interesting. Thanks, Cindy. I think and I think Vinny sort of likes that I'm, the way I do it, you know. Like he sort of uh, that's the third time I've been on there. I think if they hated my guts, they probably wouldn't. Yeah. You know. Well, it's Court TV. What show is Court TV? <laughs> what show is it on Court TV? Uh, the one with Vinny, you know, Vinny Politan. I like he's so cool, that guy. He's gonna I think he's going to Crime Con too. Oh well thanks, Lisa. I'm transferring a bunch of GoPro footage off the windshield right now, so Thanks, Ozzy Trisha. Thank you, Lenora Murdoch. I didn't see Court TV. What are you congratulating? Or what, what happened? I was also, I know, it really does. I have a grandson coming. Oh, cool. Ludicrous, that pretty much sent it up. Sums it up. I can see you, Jim. <laughs> yeah, it's on. It's been posted online. I, I come on like about like thirteen minutes in, or something like that. Fourteen minutes, maybe something like that. 
I think I, Barbara McDonald is, um, you know, she's a she's a good reporter. She gets a lot of information. She's the one that interviewed Keegan Klein in prison early on. Uh, but I think when she was at HLN, her boss did, didn't you know didn't want her to talk to me or something. I remember meeting them at CrimeCon, and you know they didn't want to talk to me because. Sometimes I've been, I was pretty hard on HLN. Like, I would just be like, come on, you guys, this is. Richard Allen is innocent, and the voice on the phone, get down the hill is Doug Carter. You sound like an idiot, Larkin. Go, go do something else. Thank you. Uh, if you only knew how proud I am when you are on court. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Jeez. Cindy. Why not when I'm on my regular show? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. I think you've probably got some in column A. In column. Huh? Who? Yeah, there, there's a lot of crazy people in the world, and so they believe anything that's thrown at them. Okay, and you know, look at, is it possible? It's all Odin and Richard Allen didn't do it. I mean, you know, sure, one in a billion chance, right? Did you hear Gray? He said it's possible. Everybody, did you hear it? Yeah, I said one in a billion. Yeah, I had to use my phone, and I had to go to the store to get some. So it's kind of shitty video or whatever uh, that I'm on. Your, your, everything looks out of contortion because you got the cell phone. Thanks, Ozzy, Trisha. It's so far-fetched. Yeah, I mean, we can take another look at it here in a minute. <laughs> My wife's in, on the bed behind napping. She went with me on every bit of it, man. I think you'll like, you know, you know what I did, you guys? I got the 360 degree camera. It's the, it's the previous, I have a new one. I haven't quite got it up and running yet. I was going to work on that after this. But it's, uh, I walked the whole trail with the 360 degree camera from Freedom Bridge all the way to the Monon High Bridge. So you can stop it, look around, do whatever you want. Problem is it's not the same environment this time of year because the trees are fully green. Then I also walked from the abandoned CPS building to the Freedom Bridge with the 360 degree camera on that little side trail that he took. Yeah. Well, what was that? <laughs> What's that? What are you saying? What are you saying? Go ahead. Oh, you almost fell asleep? <laughs> My wife almost fell asleep and she went, huh? <laughs> you should hear when she has a nightmare. It's hilarious. It, like when she went to, uh, well, you're at, you were correct, Kubi. <laughs> when she, uh, Kubi typed in, Chris is talking in her sleep. And she said, just kidding. And I said, no, 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 she was right. Yeah, like when she has the nightmare, like uh, she'll be sleeping and she'll be like this. No, 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 oh, oh, God, no, no, no. And I wake her up and go, hey, 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 hey. She's like, oh, 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 hey, oh, thank you, thank you. And I'll say, what's go what happened? And something like, there was this monster he was chasing. And I'm like, why do you watch the damn horror movies? Why do you watch him? Hey, thanks. Nemo Lotus. A lot of people hate, hate me in the comments. You ever notice that on the live stream? Oh, great. He is. Oh, I've never watched him, but I heard he was really. Okay. Yeah. So I don't even know what half these videos show on him. This goes underneath. Uh, 25. We, we had an encounter with uh, some nut jobs that showed up 
knowing that I was going to be there, uh, they actually thought Robert Ives was me. <laughs> but, uh, no, that, I don't know why I said Becky thought that. <laughs> That's, I don't know why I said that at all. I think I was still kind of, ra- it was just random people thought that. Yeah, yeah just crazy people everywhere. Uh, somebody obviously was sent there, uh, and it was about flora. Like I was some horrific person regarding the flora fire. I've maybe talked about that once or twice over the years, and that's it, you know? So there's the... Ridiculous. Yeah, so this is... This, I think I, I don't oh, yeah. know who it was, too. There was this lady that would email me about the Florida fire. They think it's probably some big conspiracy theory. Yeah, anyways, this is like... This, that right there, right there, you guys? Look at watch. So right here, this is uh, where Sue was driving. That's the old... 20, Highway 25 bridge, right there, right? And then right after you go underneath that, well, you can't see shit. Sorry about that. Hold on a second. I just realized I'm talking and you can't see a damn thing. Hold on a second. You probably are saying, look at, 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 look at. Yeah, I get it. I, get it. I, I wasn't even watching the chat at all. I just realized you can't see a damn thing. All right, let me see. Working on... Documents, GoPro, all right, 21, 22, 23, yep. This guy goes GoPro underneath like a uh, 25. We, we had an encounter with uh, some nut job that showed up there you knowing go. that I was going to be there. And they actually thought Robert Eyes was me. Like, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah. Just... Testing, testing, testing. Yeah. So this is a point where um, let's see. This is driving back. I think we were downtown or something at this. I can't remember where we were right before this. But anyway, that was yeah. I think that's Main Street right there. And we drove right here, and we're going underneath the. Old 25, Highway 25. You know I could do is just, who cares about the dashboard? You know, just put it like, let me fix that a little bit. Like right there. There we go. Got crap all over the windshield, of course. But that little road right there to the right, that road takes you to the parking area. Where... Um, you can park and then walk over the Freedom Bridge. I went to. I didn't go to. to I didn't go to where he worked. I don't. That, to me, that's not even important. Yeah, it's just it has nothing to do with the crime. It's just. Yeah. So then I just leave. So then you walk over. And you walk over the Freedom Bridge over there. Now it looks like some big bugs hit that windshield. <laughs> well, that's because the GoPro has an image stabilization crystal, a.k.a. Beaver Gaming Sub Sub Crystal. So, yeah, everybody looks smooth with this one. Yeah, we walked it. I walked it with my 360 degree camera, and obviously, you could see when I flew my drone, I must have walked there. So, here we go. Now you're going underneath the new Highway 1, uh, Highway 25, and then it comes out, and you have to take a right at that first that stop sign right there. I kind of was going, ooh, shit, and I went, oh, crap, I forgot. And you drive down. And that building right there is the one that has a camera on it. Hey, thanks, Anthony Galvez. <laughs> oh, really? You think so? Do you think the show was pretty good, Anthony? I think I would be pretty good. I mean, it would be hard to... I mean, I do a three-hour show anyways every single night, right? Just give me the, all the stuff 
that I do and then make it more produced with like more you know give me give start feeding me the stuff maybe you know but I would do the I think people in the real world actually do want to see the maps and everything everybody it's weird how that oh they'll get bored they'll get no no <laughs> they won't they wouldn't yeah I'd have to still be able to be me or I wouldn't do it Hey, thanks, Megan. Did you guys uh, agree with what I was saying? Or <laughs> I, th I thought that document was one of the most juvenile, childish things I've ever seen. It was sarcastic and just, ugh, God. All right, so anyways, this is the drive from the, aban the abandoned CPS building. Just off to the right there, that's where that trail goes from the abandoned CPS building to the Freedom Bridge over there. But later, I walk it with my 360-degree camera. I think a bunch of YouTubers wrote that, and they put it together as an amalgamation, if that's the right term. So we're driving right here, and I'll show you where the Hoosier Harvest Store is. This is all the stuff we've seen from the sky on a map. Right? So you guys, here's the thing. When I'm doing videos, I show you the things that everybody wants, those little things that people actually want to see, not the, oh, here we go. We, we just, All right? So I'm actually driving in. This is the Hoosier Harvest Store camera. See that garage door and that white thing up there? That's the camera right there. That's the camera that filmed right out here all the different cars driving by, All right. So now there's no question about that. You don't go, oh, oh, wow, what, what? You see it, right? Then you drive over here. And it does, it does this dip down, which I didn't really realize. This drops like five feet right here. Down like this. And this is parallel to the trail. And then right up above, you see that little, on the side of the road, that little driveway looking thing? That's where the old, where you could park before, but they have a fence there now. That's the Mears property to the left, and that is the path that they dropped, were dropped off, walked straight, and they took a left to go to the bridge. Yeah. And you drive down this way. Mm -hmm. I wish I could, could have been there during the right time of year. I know, that's what I said on the show, Seven Beauties. I said... That looks like that could just be arter ar arterial blood spatter. I mean, it doesn't even look like an F, really. I mean, it's just sort of like you're... And to be honest, so when I was talking to... Um, well, I can't really... You know, when I was talking to other people, they said... Uh, that, you know, they can't talk about specifics, but there's things that people thought were certain things that they just didn't see it. So there's a cemetery right there, right? It doesn't look like an F at all. I mean, if you want, well, unless you want to say it, it could be anything, all right? It could be the left side of a, of a drawing of the Empire State Building. Did they show what? Yeah, on the, on the show, there's other clips that you didn't get to see probably on there. But anyways, look, at it. it goes way down. It dips down about five feet back here. And this is the back of the cemetery. So when Robert Ives came out, he was with me earlier in the day. I went back out again. We kind of stopped out here, and he just sort of pointed, and he goes, you could almost see the crime scene when the trees don't have the leaves on it. You, you could see it even, investigators and so forth, from up here at the back end of the cemetery. So don't you get a little better feel a little bit, you guys, like you were there? Now, when I get that 360-degree camera out, then you'll be like, whoa. And I actually might, uh, I might go, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going back. So I forgot, I got up so much footage. Well, thanks, Kami. Yeah, but why look up the runes and all that stuff, you guys? 
What a waste of time. Just on its face value, the absurdity of it should make you just go, yeah, forget it. Anyways, coming out of the cemetery right there, you drive down this way. Yeah, I did go to the Marathon gas station. I went every, I pretty much went to went to his house, drove out from there, or the house at the time. That's that's Ron Logan's property right there on the right there. Okay, that's that's one. <laughs> Hold on. Yep, I guess that one kept recording there. It kind of splits them up into manageable sizes. But hey, guys, if you like this type of work, don't forget to help support the Gray Hughes and Investigates channel. Out on the road. We'll be out on the road for nine days, so I need all the help I can get. Oh, yeah? Cool. Julianne Friend. I don't remember where I am right now. I think I'm going backwards. This is just what it looks like out here. Uh, God, I don't know if Mary Lou will be available. When's your birthday, Cindy? We might have to do it uh, when they get back. No, it hasn't made me change my mind about anything. It's exactly... Basically, uh, it was exactly what I thought it would look like. Because <laughs> I've seen so many videos... Google Earth and everything like that. It just, the only thing that was different when things were a little closer to each other than I thought. But no, there's not, nothing changed my feeling. Ding, 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 ding. This is pretty much the backwards route. Hey, thank you so much. Not your average chick. My sales pitch didn't seem to work. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, no problem, Kim Bear. So you got to just picture um, during the fall to like April, there's no leaves on these trees. Like probably November to April. It's just totally clear and here. It looks different. Wow, look at a UFO showed up on the trail. Awesome threads, roses. What are you talking about, Bobby? He got extremely lucky not to have spotted by family arriving to look, huh? I don't know what that means. So here's the Wilson Bridge. This is the bridge that Derek drove over at 311 and called Libby and then he also called him three minutes later and that's exactly the amount of time it takes when he got to the parking area by the Mears property that you've already seen. Thank you Chris Kresimek, Chris Kresimek, yeah. Jump, jump. Thank you American lady. Better late than never. I'll be watching replay. Gray get some flowers for chris please <laughs> yeah she probably deserves them for going on this godforsaken three-day trip 
all the way here and then we've already been here for a whole day and then another day and then and then a whole nother day like tomorrow is sort of a dead like nothing day but i think i'll do more stuff you know more of the footage you got the better that's for sure might even get that drone back out there again with the 360 degree When he's leaving the area, wasn't that about the time they were arriving to look for the girls? Yeah, they, well, the 350 something, yeah. There was people showing. Oh, those, okay. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Well, I, I even said that, like, Derek was there right next to him, basically. He got back to his car around 4. So it just would have been minutes before. And he and he walked down the from the Freedom Bridge to his car which means he sort of passed in parallel on that trail that makes sense bobby swain now i know what you're saying all right 12 months man a whole year I thought you've been around her for a lot longer than that. Not your average chick. What do you mean lagging all the time? Are, are you guys lag here? This has a pretty good upload speed on here. It's like 20 megabytes or gigabytes or megabytes a second. Yeah. It's the download that's kind of slow. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty amazing to be in a hotel to get that kind of upload. Ah, oh, well, why not? Not your average chick. Was there something I was doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tina Dane, 37 months. <laughs> throwing it down, throwing it down. What is that, like three years? But I'm not the last, right? Not your average chick. <laughs> Anyways, thank you. thank you. Did you capture path you made? Yeah, we can't go to the down. We are. We see the down the hill on the Google Earth. Like it's too wooded there. You can't really show anything. You are Dana Dane. You've been around forever. Hell, Kubi's been around a long time too. You guys were on that Halloween a few years back. I think Zozo's been, probably been around one of the longest, for sure. I think she's got the maximum. Yeah, hold on. Let me let me, let me see if Cairo can. He just texted me. It'd be interesting to. <laughs> this is funny. This would be this might be an interesting thing if he can the second. I might, I'm going to see if I can call Cairo really quick. All right, hold on. Let me get another one. 
What was that? Was that that was two, three? I'm not really sure what I'm doing on some of these. He said he was, he's been sick or something. Cairo was. Thursday. Oh, okay, so. Second. I don't know. I'm just waiting to see if he wants me to call him. It's only voice logic. I missed all the rest of her show, uh, Fig Sol. <laughs> well, how, how do you think I did on there? I think I was pretty uh, logical, you know? I'm not sure where I am. I mean, I'm sure if I put the audio, it's, I can't hear myself, though, so that's why I can't do it. Yeah, I think she's sort of, uh, you know, kind of believes Ron Logan has something to do with it, you know. American lady going for a wave. I mean, it's kind of cool, these little sort of uh, quaint little streets and things. I don't even remember doing this, whatever I'm doing right here. This must have been a different person. <laughs> yeah, well, it was cool because I set up the expectations of reality from the beginning, saying this is the most childish document, sarcastic thing I've ever seen. What do you guys think? <laughs> See, it's hard to, you know, because I, I get it. Like the hosts, it was funny. To, you know, I tried to, I didn't mean to put him on the spot or anything like that, but it was just like, what are you supposed to say there? Oh, maybe that's what that was. Yeah, the GPS thing aired out on something at one point. But yeah, and then I brought up the, you know, the three girls, and I said, well, why would they do that? And then Vinny, you know, because he's smart, he, you know, he said because they didn't want that in there <laughs> because it makes them look. Yeah, exactly. I think that's when I laughed on there. I can't remember. Yeah. So, anyways, let's get to the next one. Okay, this is from, this is the Marathon gas station right here. It's just a regular, I'm not showing the gas station. But this is going to show you how quick it is to get to, I believe, his house. So, here's the Marathon gas station parking lot. No reason to really show it. You know, I do have my I do pull the 360 out at some point there. And you drive down the road here and kind of down here you take a left. I, if if I'm in the right spot, I think I, I I don't remember. I think I was at the Marathon gas station. I think I might have went past like the no, it's right here. Yeah, it's right. Take a left right here. They have a lot of dangerous little areas out here. You feel like you just a lot of accidents. So that was the Marathon gas station. You just go around the corner. I do like Vinny. I think he's cool, man. I appreciate them having me on sometimes. So 
Yeah. But 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 it did fig because they would say stuff like, um, what was it? The um, you know when she was dying slowly, like nineteen or twenty five times. This happened, and then when she was dying slowly, this happened. What a joke! Well, thanks, Cindy. Hey, thanks, Amanda. Yeah. Anyways, you turn around right here. This is just a dead end on Richard Allen Street, but that's how little time it takes to get to the Marathon gas station. And uh, so his house, uh, if I remember right, looking at this, is the one like right there with the, that trailer and the truck and everything. Straight ahead. The one right in the middle of the screen there. That's where he lived. Remember that bush in the background on some of the shots that were in the media? His car was parked right there by the green thing when he was brought in. So that, that was the house right there. Okay. All right. I know, isn't that nuts, Zozo? I thought it was like this pure F, like a perfect F. It's just some garbage, just random crap. What's weird to me about the F, though, is the F was pointed out by people at the crime, people that found the bodies right away. So that's strange that they were able, that they thought of that, if you ask me. Thanks, KB. But it was her blood, apparently. But the F, like, it's just crap. Yeah, so here, here's the thing. I've been, I said this earlier in the show if you missed it. In that document, they say Richard Allen got there at 12 o'clock and left at 1.30. Okay? That's what he said in... October on October 13, 2022. That's because he knew the importance of the timing. I think that actually proves him even more guilty, right? Because back in 2017, when he called the tip line and was interviewed, because here's the thing, he called the tip line, everybody. This is the reality of it. I'm going to tell you it right now. He called the tip line because he saw his picture on the news and thought, shit, somebody's going to identify me. So he got uh, in front of it, called the tip line, and met up with the conservation officer. And he thought that, you know, he wasn't sure how that image was taken because he didn't know that Libby filmed him. He had, she had the camera down low. So he wasn't sure where the image came from. So he was trying to get ahead of it. He thought, I'm toast. But he wasn't arrested, right? So when he was talking to him, he told the truth that he was there from 1.30 to 3.30. Okay, that's what he said originally. Hey, thanks, Daisy. That's what he said originally. And then, in uh, strangely, though, in October of 2013, that's when he mentioned again, or at least uh, I think the first time even, that he walked by the three girls, and he explained what they looked like. I think he might have said that in the first one, too. I, I can't remember. Thanks, Daisy. The three girls is a huge problem for him something that was absolutely left out of the document. The three girls are what, what proved that he was getting there at 135-ish. Because, you know, he parks the car, then walks a little bit down the trail, and then he take, you take a left right at the Freedom Bridge, and then there's trees. Apparently, that's the spot uh, Doug Rice identified by talking to one of the victims, or not the victims, one of the girls, and it was right there where he walked by them, and he was heading towards the bridge with his head down in a hurry. Okay? That matches perfectly with him saying he got there at 1.30, and he also saw the same three people. So how do you all of a sudden now say he got there at noon, and then he left at 1.30? That means he never saw the three girls, because they weren't there. So that's a lie. Okay? Absolute lie. And they know it is. And then they came up with some fanciful, stupid reason for you know what the conservation officer might have done you know hey you know were you there between one 
uh, <clears throat> were you anywhere at the bridge between 1.30 and 3.30? Yes. Okay, then you were there from 1.30 to 3.30. Yeah, bullshit. That's not how it went, okay? Thanks, River Flip. Uh, staging means that somebody moves something or you're, you're setting up the crime scene other than what it naturally would have looked like after you did what you did. So it affects how the investigators are seeing it. Mm -hmm. Now, the whole muddy and bloody thing, who knows? However, there's going to be a, re a response. Now, I hope we get to see the response. I'm, I, if I was a prosecution, I'd make sure that the public got to see the response. <laughs> well, well, good, fake solves. Yeah. I wish they would let me just keep talking for a long time. I mean, I, I guess what I need to do is figure out how to not pause... Because that's when people jump in and they go to the next. I, I just got to keep going because I had so much. I was just going to go on and on and on and on and on about that stuff. Not on, not not that long, but yeah, just a little bit more. Like, give me another thirty seconds. Get some zingers in. Like even the Beth, uh, not what's her name, uh, not Beth, Betsy, individual or Sue as I called her. I bet she said she saw a dark car, just like the probable cause document said. They left that out of the document, too. Yeah, oh, I think that's exactly where they were killed. Though. I think the tree that had the F on it, whatever, for lack of a better term, is exactly where they were killed, and then they were moved to a different tree. That's why there was blood underneath, on the ground, on the below them, but where they were found, there wasn't any blood there. So I think the F tree is where they were killed, and I think that was blood spatter, uh, not an F, now that I see it, the drawing of it. I wasn't even watching the, the video. What the hell is that? Okay, that was 24. So here's 25. Oh, this is the, uh, the ballpark. I think this is leaving the ballpark. I'm not sure why I have it, turned it on there. there. Must be a reason for it. Yeah, so right over there the, to the right is the amphitheater. That's where the bricks are. I know that's what I, I I argued the other night. I said, "They go, are you kidding me? No blood or anything at the scene. No footprints. No DNA. Nothing." By Richard Allen, the single person, and I'm like, "Yeah, but your 16 Odinites left nothing either. Wouldn't that be more likely than having one person who carefully may have not left DNA at the scene?" Yeah. Okay, all right. It was, a, it was a veritable football game of Odinites running around in those woods. I, I keep thinking of the song uh, by um, Spinal Tap, you know, the, the Druids, you know, with, the, with that little 12-inch Stonehenge came out of the ceiling because the person drew it wrong, <laughs> put 12 inches, not 12 feet. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that was good stuff, man. That was... Yeah. Stonehenge. <laughs> Stonehenge, where the demons dwell. The Banshees live and they do live well. Remember, remember the part at the beginning was like, No one knew who they were or what they were doing. <laughs> like they're trying to get all like mis mystical about it. No one knew who, the, who they were or what they were doing. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Yeah. 
Yeah. If you haven't seen This is Spinal Tap, you, you missed out. You gotta everybody's gotta go watch that one. Uh, well I think it was intentionally put out there. I don't know if it was like leaked, leaked. I think it's a breach of the, the gag order though, for sure. 25, 26. I'm waiting to find one that. Okay, that was out of. Okay, that was another attempt. This is out of the Marathon gas station again, you guys. Watch this. Here we go. Marathon gas station. Down the road. Thanks, Lady Fierce. I think it's crappy. They said like 10 times. Every, yeah, I know. That's what I was saying, Lady Fierce. That's what I was saying. I think it's it was so childish. It's just so, yeah, uh, uh, gosh, I don't even know what to say. See, what they mentioned, sadly, is that the medical examiner believes that Abby died slowly. Okay. Or I don't know how they came up with it. Whatever it was. They brought it up. I didn't bring that up on the show the other night when I was reading it. I didn't want to really want to read it. And then for the next 20 comments, they kept saying that at the beginning of each comment. Like disgusting wackos that they are. Okay? Who does that shit? <laughs> hey, well, at least I just said what I think. Right, Sandra? <laughs> what do you think, right? Uh, yeah, the Odinists are... What a load of shit. I'll have to ask Vinny. Hey, what what'd you think? <laughs> oh, shit. That sucks. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. See, I'm not like the company man type, you know, you, you get me on there to be like, I, I just say what I think the reality is, you know? So anyways, this, okay, this is, I think a pretty cool one here. This is at the back end of Richard Allen's cul-de-sac. I'm driving out. I believe I go all the way to the abandoned CPS building here, I think. So this is his route. And notice if he turned left, he did the other route. The if you type in the abandoned, you know the uh, how I have a house address right next to it, so I could find it. And I t you type in abandoned CPS building. The drive from Richard Allen's house is four minutes. He chose to take a nine-minute route to avoid cameras. How do you explain that one? Well, Gray, he likes scenic drives. Okay. Well, thanks, Teresa. Yeah, we've all heard all those things, the details there. Um, so uh, I think it's David Erskine. Is it David Erskine? Yeah, David Erskine's, I think. I don't know what his first name is, but it's one of, uh, it's like related to uh, Anna, Abby's mom. He was one of the people that found the body. He said he's actually said all of these things since the beginning. Okay, he said them all. Every bit of it. So every, so the things he's been saying have been accurate the whole time. I just never put him on the show because I don't really want to. Uh, now, the part about an asterisk. See, I think a lot of the stuff that they put in the this thing was their opinion on things. So I don't think they're reading what the investigators thought. They looked at the photographs and said, look, an asterisk. Oh, and look at the, these ones are placed like this and this and this and this. I'd have to see the crime scene image myself to come up with an idea. I feel like I'm driving kind of fast here. So he just took this really, really long, like, um, I think this 200 here, and then I think he turned left on 400 north or 400 west heading north but this is how he would have gone because this is the only way to get uh coming from the east this is the only way to go
I mean, I'll just probably make individual videos of all this stuff, you know. Where's that British guy? He'll probably come up with something. You know, you'll have to look at Gray's video. Uh, but um, he left one crucial thing out. Uh, he left off the, the antlers. He should have had those in front of the vehicle, which would have uh, alerted any of the various Odinites that might be out there at this current time. Ah, shut the hell up. Jesus. Yeah, so anyway, I think now it's heading, I think it's heading north now. Uh, you probably should, Teresa, don't you think? That's what it was, yeah. In ancient times, in, wait, in ancient times, hundreds of years before the dawn of history, an ancient race of people, Odites, no one knows who they were, but they liked the letter F. <laughs> hey, thanks, Hope for All. And so this is, um, I think this is, this might be, I can't remember if it's 400 or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, this was crazy, you guys. Look at that, look at this. That's a bald eagle right there. It was eating my, I thought it was a cat, but my wife thought it was a, a um, raccoon. Look at that, bald eagle just taking off right there. Crazy, he had a white head, everything, everything, definitely. And right there was whatever he was eating right there on the side of the road there. Strange. I didn't even know bald eagles were much out in this area. We have tons where we are because they like to eat fish. Yeah, so is this, is this a crazy route that he took here, you guys? And this is the route that I think he took. Because this is the quickest way coming in from the east. Thank you, M10. I was going to wait till the end of the show to gush over how well you did on Court TV. You made good points and good sense. Also, this is Spinal Tap. is classic. <laughs> Thanks. And thanks for your uh, supportive comments in the live chat, M10. Because remember, there was people in there going, "Oh, this guy changes his mind left and right. He's he's always, you know, going with the winds of ideas." And uh, I think everybody in here it gets frustrated with how I don't do that. <laughs> okay, so it's almost hilarious when somebody says that. I think you said, "I don't think he does that at all." No one knew who they were or what they were doing. <laughs> oh, and so if you just got here late, um, so, you know, I was trying to keep it on the down low that I was going to even be here, but then people started mentioning, oh, Gray's going to be in Delphi. These wackos that follow the Flora case um, sat there at the Freedom Bridge. They must have camped out, for God's sakes. They were sitting in lawn chairs. That's when I said, you know what, Robert, we should have parked over at the abandoned CPS building. They never would have seen us. Anyways, so they were just waiting there, and they're like, they didn't say anything. Then we just started walking. Uh, they started walking on the trail ahead of us. And then when we, I said, hey, let's pass, they started walking quicker. And we were like, you know, you know, do you have a problem or something? And then they said, yeah, we have a problem with you. 
you you accuse what's her name of killing the and, and no no it was an opinion that maybe the mother had something to do with something because she won't respond to or be questioned by police that's all i said i've only covered the case once in my life really fully that's it and they go well you deleted all your videos Thanks, Maury A. Yeah, and then then we get back to there. They're still they're waiting again because they they you know Robert Ives def, you know defuse the situation you know and he walks all the way back then they walk all the way back to the parking area and they're still sitting there and then she's just glaring at me and I go I go what look at you're you're wrong she goes no I'm not man you deleted all your videos you deleted all. and I just said. You're wrong. Okay. And then she kept looking at me. I just sort of, I just went, I just go, I waved like in her face. I just went like, yeah, you're wrong. Okay. And then she started just flipping me off with this red face. I mean, who gets, what a weirdo. Isn't that just psycho kind of stuff? Oh, hey, Cindy's back, everybody. Hey. Did the families know those docs were coming out? Um, I knew that these, these were coming out. And if you were watching my show, I alluded to something coming out and that uh, almost precisely the same types of things they were going to argue about. I knew about it when I was in Idaho. And actually one of uh, the, you know, I call her, you know, she's a freak, <laughs> even though like you get, a lot of you don't like her. Uh, no, not for, you know, she's, but she's the one that actually let me know way back then about it All right so let's see that was that video there was uh let me see how long that was that one was eight minutes and 50 seconds okay and so then we got to add that to uh, 27. oh i guess he's hmm Seventeen twenty six, seventeen twenty seven, and it's twenty seven, twenty seven. 27, 27 20. Okay, let's see, let's see what this one is. I don't know. Must have skipped out on something there. See, there's the cell tower. Look how close that cell tower is. It's right near Ron Logan's property back there. I mean, his property is literally just you know, it was right there on the right there, right there. Or a little bit over to the right from there. Yeah. I think this, this Wilson Bridge is pretty cool looking. Probably not the greatest place to stop and a film something something <laughs> that's funny my wife was sitting next to me but you never see her when i pan over like that it's weird so this is what derek he went over that bridge at 311 right so derek drives over the bridge at 311 and calls uh, libby and she doesn't answer and then he, he just keeps on driving, and then he pulls into the parking area, and he calls her again at 314, which is exactly the amount of time it takes to get from Freedom Bridge to there. I like the my camera mount right there. I just got to get rid of some of the, the dead bugs. You should, yeah, you should see the back of my rear view mirrors. Jesus, just like pummeled. Uh, what are you talking about? He had them by an hour. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 213. 
And so just three minutes after going to the Wilson Bridge. Yeah, so you go up here and you turn left, you'll see the cell tower again. Yeah, there it is right there, the big cell tower. That was there at the time of the murder. So when people say, oh, there's no cell tower. Well, there is some, I mean. Yeah, I think it's really weird, the clothing thing. I don't know what the reasoning behind that would be. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah. You know, the prosecution really only has to explain the variations. You know, the information on Betsy was sort of interesting about her being adamant. It was this guy with the curly hair and stuff like that. Okay, great. But here's the thing, everybody. Let's just let's just throw, throw it out that Betsy said um, she thought the guy looked a certain way. Well, that looks different than the guy that's on the bridge. You know, the guy that's actually following them looks exactly how Richard Allen described himself. Thanks, living it. Appreciate it. Look at the taco dancing down the road. Oh, this is the next video, I guess. Uh, look how long he exposed himself on his watch. Oh, I think some of these are the second part. I think now I just realize what these are, these numbering systems. Like if it if it kicks over to another one, it's not a new video. It's like a part two of the, the previous one. Because after a certain size, it switches. So now we're driving around. This is where Richard Allen would have been walking, but probably over to the right behind in the woods maybe. To get back to the CPS building. Now you can see the parking area right there on the left. That um, So this is how he would have got there. Yeah, that's right. This is the second half of that. So um, right now this is Richard Allen on his drive there. I, I just went back in time a little bit. And so this is all already past the Hoosier Harvest Store. And he would have driven just like this around this curve and then parked right there in the middle of the screen. There's a little cement slab on the ground, which is the abandoned CPS building. And then he just turned right in here and where, you know, where the building was more like right there. So he probably... Yeah, drove over the park right around in this area there. And this uh, road on the ground here, that dirt road, is actually the path that leads over there. Yeah, so some of these are like part twos of the other ones. So I'm gonna, wait, that one's done. One four. This must be the remainder of the his drive out there. Let me let me look at something. I think I figured out finally what those numbers mean. Just a second. Yeah, so if you have part two, 1727, then you have 2727. Yeah, there you go. So let's say this is, let me just see if this works. Does it make sense? So this is from Richard Allen's home, right? And then let's go to the very end of it. And it's right, let's just try to remember what it looks like right at the end. Okay, right there. It was at the... Um, the uh, cell tower. And that was 1727. Now I think 2727 
This should start at the cell tower. Oh, and it does. Boom. Okay, so this is the finishing of Richard Allen's drive there, the one I started earlier. So now I know how this works. They're, they're in out of order in the filing system, but they're right like that. Okay, good. Hey, that's good for future. So it automatically starts recording again once it gets too big. Yeah. So this is the second part of it. It just passed the uh, cell tower. And this is his route. He's going to go by the cemetery right now. Hey, Lanky Tour. Hey, by the way, can you guys hit that like button for God's sakes? You got 662 people watching and 300 likes, especially this whole show. Man, pathetic. That's mean, Gray. Now I'm not going to hit it. <laughs> yeah, Bessie saw one of the Odin Knights that... Uh, Richard Allen is a member of that. Therefore, that's why the Odin Knights in prison. See, here's the thing. Here's all their stuff about the Odin Knights. Make it seem like Richard Allen is one of the Odin Knights. I mean, he's right there with them, you guys. And in prison, they're trying to take him out because he knows too much. If he's not an Odin Knight and has nothing to do with it, the Odin Knights would love him to death because they took the heat off of them. Right, anyways, uh, it's driving around the corner here. Yeah, thanks, Selena. I'm I'm always flipping people. I don't really think your people are crazy when they don't hit the like button and stuff like that. Yeah, there it is, parked right there. Okay, and I got the hell out of Dodge. Hey, thanks. Look at that, freaks. You beat the goal. You made up for a couple of those other nights there. Let's see. Where is the this one right here? Okay. I think this is the last one here. Wait, what was what? What do you mean, what was that? Jesus. Hey, thanks, Lanky Tour, for posting that PayPal link. You just never know. Yeah, didn't I say on the show about how he cocked the gun? I don't know if I said that on the show, but I remember saying it either on this show or that show that he cocked the the gun. You could hear it. Yeah, I did say that. I said I talked to family members who watched the video, and there's a click. They think he chambered a bullet, you know, cocked it, and then at the crime scene, maybe he just ejected the damn thing. You know, I mean, who knows, right? I mean, it kind of makes sense. He had a gun, right? I mean, he did have a gun, and there was a bullet that needed to be sort of removed, ejected. Anyways, this is, there's only two minutes more of this video here than I'm going to call it a night, man. Yeah, I was just driving around, Zozo. Uh, if I had the audio on, you could probably tell, but I can't hear it, so... It looks like this is kind of driving back towards the uh, the property. I mean, the uh, like Logan's property again. I, I can't remember. Everything starts looking the same after a while. It's in Delphi, Indiana. Yeah.
so fixed in your narrative. You mean because I think logically, Angela? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. I know people like you don't. Like, they like to have all these. Oh, it's so fun to talk about Odinites, man. Let's start looking up all the stuff about Odinites. Who gives a shit? Okay. I'm not going to look up a damn thing about Odinites. I'll be able to tell you that right now. Odinites have absolutely nothing to do with this case. All right? That's not true, Gray. Didn't you read the document? There was this one guy who was... Okay. Okay. Yeah, you, you can do it if you want. I'm not going to do it. I don't even know where I am right here on this video. I bet I, bet I say where I am if you could listen to it. But. Oh, yeah, that's right. I think I'm leaving. I'm getting on the freeway to get back to where I'm staying. Yeah, there you go. I'm just saying, do we really? Yeah, we do. We do really know, Angela. We do really know. Yeah. See, the thing is, is when you say, do we really know? That's like when you say, isn't it possible? Sure. Okay. Yeah, you're right. We don't really know. Okay. But look, I'm going to make an argument tomorrow that Bigfoot and his wife did this killing. Okay. Now, you can't tell me they didn't do it. Okay. You don't have any idea that they didn't do it. Uh, they might have just blended in with the trees while the Odinites frolicked in the forest area there. Now, prove to me it wasn't Bigfoot, okay? Prove it to me. I don't mean saying, well, it can't be. It's really unlikely. No, I prove it to me that it wasn't Bigfoot, all right? Well, you guys, that is going to do it for me tonight. I appreciate you guys being here. You got to watch some of the GoPro footage and some drone footage earlier in the show. I think the really cool stuff is going to be the 360 degree footage. I think that's when you'll go, hmm, now that's cool shit. But anyways, I got to get to sleep because it's, it's only 8.56 Portland time, but it's 12 here, just like I put you guys through every single night. And I've been up all day running around and I'm tired. All right. <laughs> yes. So, anyways, thank you guys very much. So, there's, I do, I think I might have the wrap thing on here. Maybe is it on here? Gosh, it sure isn't. I have nothing. Mm -mm -mm. Where the hell is it? No, there's no ending on this video. It's just gonna go dead. So, thank you all for being here and supporting the channel. Really appreciate it. And we will see you. Uh, tomorrow evening, uh, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I might not have time you know, now that I think about it. Because I'm, I'm having dinner with Becky and uh, somebody else. A, one of the original freaks, actually. Right? So, hey, uh, just be confident out there, everybody, that Liggett will come out with a response that will shred to uh, smithereens, all this crap, and it'll convince the rational-minded people. But the people who are crazy, who love the Odinites and all that kind of weird stories, I mean, I don't mind you loving an Odinite. I mean, the Odinite theory. They love that stuff. Um, you know, wow. Okay. So that's it, you guys. Thank you very much for being here, and we will see you tomorrow. And thanks for all watching on the Court TV. Hope I represented the freaks in the only way I can. I know if you're a freak out there and you like conspiracy theories, yeah, you might be a frustrated freak. All right? Smoking a cigarette. <laughs>
I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, with Retson. <laughs> All right, anyways, see you guys later, and be safe out there. Don't, maybe I have the trigger bunny at least. Isn't he on here? God, he's got to be on here somewhere. Let me let me look on my main screen. I know it's on here, right? But yeah, he's on the. Yeah, when I do the uh, credits, right? There he is. There we go. We can do that one. I don't know. These are probably old donations, so I'll get rid of those. But thanks, everybody. See you guys later.